breathtaking 125,000 acres in Asheville, the Biltmore Estate is spectacular. For most, it's an unconscionable size to call home, but a century ago, it was just home to the wealthy Vanderbilts. It took 1,000 men six years to build this architectural masterpiece. George Vanderbilt, a perfectionist, was a man before his time installing central heating and indoor plumbing. Modeled after a French chateau, the 175,000 square foot home boasts 250 rooms, 34 bedrooms, 43 baths. Biltmore host Thelma Cousins gives us a tour. Back in the 1890s, they would bring their guests here to just relax amongst the beautiful fern. This is where George and Edith Vanderbilt lived with their only child, Cornelia. And the winter garden room was their version of the casual sunroom with priceless sculptures, fine furniture, and a glass ceiling that allowed for airy indoor breezes. This is the billiard room. This would be used by Mr. Vanderbilt's male guests. Family photos and trophies grace the wood paneled walls, but what makes this room unique and mysterious? Three hidden doors leading to different rooms, the smoking room, the banquet hall, and the bachelor wing. So they were able to come in and out and, mm -hmm. and not have to go into the rest of the house. Right. And just, so, is this sort of the man part of the house? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Grand Banquet Hall looks and sounds more like a church cathedral. It is the largest room in the house. The idea was to give the feeling, the ambience of a medieval banquet hall, and I believe he succeeded. The ceiling, 72 feet high, below, hand carved his and her thrones. A triple stone fireplace, five 16th century tapestries warm the walls. a large stone fireplace, and formal family portraits, including Cornelius Vanderbilt, founder of the family fortune, surround this grand breakfast room. The walls, in which the Vanderbilts considered an informal eating area, are made of Italian marble and Spanish leather. Look at the ceilings, very ornate. A lot of the ceilings in Biltmore House are beautiful. breathtaking Italian painting overlooks 10,000 books, priceless works of art and mementos, and the largest fireplace in the house. There are 65 fireplaces throughout the mansion, including inside the master suites. This is Mr. Vanderbilt's bedroom. The walls are 22 karat gold on burlap, mm -hmm. so he collected a lot of his pieces from all over the world. Mrs. Vanderbilt's bedroom. But just take a note of the fabric. It's silk and cut velvet, and that is on the walls too. The Vanderbilts had separate bedrooms, a common practice for the very wealthy a century ago. But between their private suites, they did share this grand, ornate, hand-carved living room. Inside this very formal, vast estate, the Vanderbilts enjoyed the fun life along with outdoor sports. Inside, there was a bowling alley, a gymnasium, and when they wanted to take a dip. This is the indoor swimming pool. Wow, this is nice. It was heated, and it held 70,000 gallons of water. But swimming pools weren't chlorinated then, so every three to four days, the 70,000 gallons of water had to be drained. The luxury of the Biltmore is now admired by tourists, but 100 years ago, a prestigious family of three lived a life of unimaginable wealth.